Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to take a look at the blessings that are coming forward for you in 2022. And uh, if you're interested in the full reading, so the overall 2022 love career and everything, that will be in the next set of weeks. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already and you don't want to miss that. And the private reading for 2022 is actually actually on sale until the end of December. So if you are also interested in that, definitely use it while you have it. And yeah, let's see what are the blessings coming towards you. For my, ooh, Gemini's, we have the Empress. What do we have for Gemini here? Holy cannoli, we have Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. Let's get two more. Oh my God. This, <laughs> oh my God. This is huge. Holy shit. Okay, well, we also have the lovers. Um, well, for those of you that are new to tarot, um, I'm here to tell you that you're going to have the freaking best <laughs> year in regards to love of your life so far. For some of you, you could actually be like getting married or having kids. Uh, if you're already in a connection or connecting with someone, that relationship is definitely leveling up. If you haven't met someone, you're going to meet the one. Uh, bro, this is <laughs> this is going to be insane. I feel like you're going to start here with this Empress. Um, I feel like this starts from your self-love. This blessing, this person is only able to come forward into your life and you're only able to move this relationship forward if you're already dealing with someone because of your self-worth with this Empress energy right here. Because you're taking good care of yourself. Because you're not taking any BS. Because you're really focusing on like being happy without needing someone else. You know, she's like, she's surrounded by so many beautiful flowers. It's like, I create my own garden. I create my own happiness with this. Um, it looks like the sun behind her. It's like the sun card is all about happiness. It's the happiest card of the tarot. It's about fulfillment. It's about living your best life. And this empress, she's like, yo, I can create this sun on myself, on my own. You know, I can create this beautiful garden full of happiness and blessings, my manifestations coming in, I can create all of that on my own. However, of course, I would like to meet my emperor, right? I would like to meet the divine masculine of this feminine energy. And that is happening. We have here not only perfect match, queen of cups, king of cups. That is crazy. You also have the happily ever after when it comes to love, ten of cups, and you have the freaking lovers. You're meeting your beast. <laughs> You're meeting your emperor. You're meeting uh, an emperor. It doesn't have to be um, a male. It, it's just the divine masculine energy of the two of you. You're really meeting someone that just connects with you so well. And we have here strong, strong, strong water energy. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Gemini, Taurus, and Libra. But it doesn't have to be any of those signs. I do feel like, man, this is going to be the love of your life. This is, this is going to be it. This is going to be the shit. Okay? My goodness. I feel like you're going to meet someone who is emotionally mature, emotionally available. And maybe that was something that you have been dealing with in the past. Uh, maybe a lot of toxicity and everything. And I feel like now I see this Empress has standing up for herself. You know, I see her has um, really knowing her worth and not taking anything less than that. And I feel like that's where you're at, and especially in 2022. And that is really attracting someone beautiful, really amazing. And it's attracting like the best relationship you've had so far. It's, it's really like, this is wow. <laughs> this is really wow. All right. Let's see what we have here. We have grace. We also have practical intuition. Oh, man, I love this. Can we get one more? Heart healing. Oh, this is gorgeous. So let me just mention here that we have communication and we have the freaking eight of wands, which is about communication <laughs> and it's also about movement. So I definitely feel like, and especially you, you are ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of communication and everything. So um, I really feel like you are getting into your like most authentic self. And because of it, things are moving really, really fast. And it's like the communication with this person could be very close. If you haven't meet, uh, met them yet, um, they could be very close, but I feel like 
the communication with this person just flows. It just goes very naturally and it's just, it's beautiful, really, really beautiful. And with this practical intuition is really giving me the vibe of the magician card of like you manifesting anything you want, of you being so powerful and just trusting your gut. If you feel like, you know, I should be doing this, you're going to do it. Maybe this doesn't feel so right. You're going to get out of it. You know, I feel like you were in 2022, especially when it comes to this blessing specifically, especially when it comes to uh, love, you're following your intuition like crazy. And I don't think that it's just about love. I feel like it's about relationships overall. You're really getting into this place of grace. This is like the empress written all over it, just like connecting with nature and connecting with your own nature and feeling so aligned. I really feel like you're aligning here and it's pretty damn awesome. And that heart healing here, I love that this is a five card because fives are all about change. And with the heart healing, you're opening up your emotions with this water running through. You're opening up your emotions. They are floating in. And it's not in a sense of you can't control them because Queen of Cups and King of Cups, they can control their emotions. They don't let them kind of, I don't know, mess things up or anything. You're really taking control of your emotions and you know how to deal with them. You know how to go with the flow. And again, if you have been through some pretty toxic stuff, I feel like that is no longer an issue because you're healing your heart and especially your heart chakra and you're clearing away so many things. You're clearing away so many obstacles that were in your way when it comes to love. And because of it, love, com love comes in, which is great. And I feel like it's going to be a very lucky year for you because I'm seeing this rabbit here and um, it's, it, it even has like an Easter egg and everything. So maybe Easter could be very important and significant. But um, I'm, I'm seeing it has like the, um, the paw of the rabbit, right? And uh, rabbit foot, is it, is it, how, it how it's called? Um, but it's like, it, it's a symbol of good luck, right? It's protection and everything, but also good luck. And I, I really feel like, man, you're going to love this. <laughs> I feel like you're going to have so much fun this year when it comes to relationships, especially, because that is the biggest blessing coming through. We have on target, you are following your ideal path, life path. I really feel like you're doing great. Ooh, hello. Okay, well, all of you. So we have, ooh, look at that, trink of five, manifesting money and income. Damn, happy love, a joyful, stable partnership and good friends. So there we go. It's not even just about love. It's also about friendships and everything. I really feel like you're connecting with such good people. And uh, I was actually picking up on that from the, this 10 of cups. Like there are these people here supporting that beautiful couple with the, the newborn baby. And I was picking up that there could be some like new friends or new community. And now I actually have the confirmation for that. Um, and I really feel like those are going to be like friends for, if not for life, they're going to be there for like a really bunch of time. And um, I feel like it may even be one of the, or some of the first true friends that you have. So some of the toxicity that you've been through, maybe it wasn't just about love. It could have been uh, about like friendships, friend, friends being toxic and everything, not supporting you. And I feel like now you're connecting with people that do support you. You're connecting with people that respect you and are there for you and everything. And I feel like they are really going to support this connection. Maybe you meet them through friends, you meet that new person through friends, and it's just, it, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. We have breaking bad habits, self-acceptance, and excellent mental health. Look at that. That is a big, big blessing as well. But especially with the self-acceptance, uh, there's that empress energy of the self-worth and also excellent mental health. I feel like there were some people, possibly they are some people in your life, and I feel like you are aware of this, that they are not good for your mental health. They are not good for your growth and development. And I feel like, again, I feel like you know who these people are and maybe you are in the process of letting them go or um, creating some boundaries and stuff. That is working, baby. You're on the right path here. That is working. And also when it comes to career, you have this beautiful chink of five, manifesting money and income. So for some of you, you could meet these people or this person specifically through work. 
and you're gonna be freaking successful. All right, so now we're gonna take a look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Venture down the rabbit hole surprises, yeah. So I, I kind of feel like this person is gonna come out like out of the blue or the leveling up of this connection is gonna come out out of the blue. Maybe you're just like chilling, taking care of yourself and all of a sudden this person is like, hey, let's get married. <laughs> and it's like, what? Okay, uh, I wasn't expecting that. But man, you're gonna be so happy. I really, ah, I love this. I'm so happy for you. We have here release. These are gonna be some advices and uh, messages for you to connect with this blessing a little bit better. But we have release, lighten your load. That makes a lot of freaking sense. Beauty, dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. We also, uh, come here. We also have uh, retreat, never underst underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. So with these three cards already, um, they, they came together and I feel like it's really talking about those toxic people. This could be, again, friendships, family, whatever it is, a work environment, where I feel like you need to lighten the load. You know, I feel like they're creating a lot of burdens for you. They need to go. Those bo those, the, the boundaries need to be there. And don't be afraid to open your heart and express how you feel, express what you need. And at the same time, be a little bit of a bitch, <laughs> you know, not in a sense of like being rude or anything. It's just like being a badass of, hey, I'm not getting what I deserve. I don't feel like this is working, so I'm going to walk away, you know. Um, and it doesn't have, you don't have to say that. I feel like actions talk louder than words. But I feel like there are some people that need to go, right? And even like with this retreat, never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. So there's that thing, it's like most of the time it's not even about words, it's about how you act and how you stand up for yourself. I feel like it's time for you to stand up for yourself, okay? We also have potential, the littlest key can open the heaviest door, we like it. And we also have grow, all flowers must grow through dirt. And I feel like that is what you were it's so interesting that we have here flowers and the empress is surrounded by flowers, lovers surrounded by flowers and everything. Um, the ten of cups as well. well. Yeah, the king and the queen of cups, they're not, but a lot of flowers here. So you may be um, really connected with nature and everything. So definitely pay attention. If like if someone mentions a flower or you see uh, I don't know, you go for a walk and a, a specific flower catches your attention, pay attention to that because I feel like there's a message for you there in regards to this love or in regards to your life. You know, I feel like the universe and your guides may communicate with you through uh, nature. So definitely pay attention to that. And I also feel like with this potential here, uh, it's like no expectations. And I feel like that's what you have right now. You know, uh, if not, that is what is being asked of you. But with this Empress, it's like no expectations because I already have all that I need. Like, I'm already enough. I already have everything on my own. So whoever comes forward is just going to be a, a plus. It's going to be a compliment, a really good one, but it's going to be a compliment and I don't need it. So there's that thing of like just possibly starting to be friends with that person, you know, if this is someone new. And I kind of feel like for most of you, this could be someone new, but take it however it resonates. Um, but it starts really slowly and everything. And it's like no expectations. Whatever it wants to go, it will go. And I feel like that is going to be the key for you to really get to this beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> you know, I feel like the connection is going to be there straight away. But man, this is good. So let's go here some timing to see when this blessing may be coming in or some um, months, seasons that may be relevant for it. <coughs> Sorry, I need water. <laughs> Been doing a lot of talking. Uh, we have Leo season here. So summer, ooh, from here. We also have May. And we have Sagittarius season. So, of course, you could be uh, dealing with a fire sign, but we do have here December. So, there is definitely going to be here 
this, in, for example, in May, you may meet this person, Leo, you start dating, and by December, you're already moving in together or something, you know? Uh, it doesn't have to be that way, but uh, these are some times and some months and seasons that may be relevant for this connection in particular and for this blessing and everything. So, yeah. Gemini, this is awesome. I hope it resonated. I hope you're excited. Definitely smash the like button if you are and let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss that 2022 reading. I'm really excited to see how things are going to go considering this. But yeah, uh, don't forget to check the link below for prior readings. And that is it. So I wish you the freaking best. I love you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.